Welcome to our service of Compline. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. As we draw near to the end of the day, we pause and think over the day which has passed. We acknowledge those occasions when we have caused another person to be hurt. The occasions missed to perform an act of kindness. The times when we have put our own needs before those of another. Our confession takes the form of a prayer written by Archbishop William Temple. O God, our Judge and Saviour, set before us the vision of your purity, and let us see our sins in the light of your holiness. Pierce our self-contentment with the shafts of your burning love, and let that love consume us consume in us all that hinders us from the perfect service of your cause. For as your holiness is our judgment, so are your wounds our salvation. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wonted favour thou wouldst be our God and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies, tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. O God, be my protector and my refuge. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake lead me and guide me. Release me from the snares they have hidden. For you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, be my protector and my refuge. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchman for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Be calm but vigilant, because your enemy the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion looking for someone to eat. Stand up to him strong in faith. 
Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rise with him in peace. At last, Almighty Master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all nations, the light to enlighten the Gentiles and give glory to Israel, your people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Save us, Lord, while we are awake, protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ, and rise with him in peace. Christ is the shepherd of his flock. He loves and cares for his people. We turn to him in trust and say, Lord, we need your care. Christ our Lord, you are the pastor of all the ages. Protect our bishops, Stephen and Colin, and all the pastors of your church. Lord, we need your care. Be with those who are persecuted for their faith and those cut off from the support of the church. Good Shepherd, in their pain and isolation, may they know your care. Lord, we need your care. Christ is the gate of the sheepfold. We pray that he will bless all those preparing to reopen our church buildings that their opening may bring comfort and strength to all who live in our villages. Lord, we need your care. Bring healing to the sick. And we pray especially for Pauline, who has suffered from multiple sclerosis for many years and is nearing the end of her life. And for Amy Rea, Pauline's daughter, who has recently been diagnosed with the same illness. And we continue to pray for Muriel, that she may have God's peace. Lord, we need your care. Our Lord Jesus had nowhere to lay his head. We pray for all who are homeless, all who have fled persecution in their native lands, Lord, we need your care. We pray for all whose livelihoods have been ruined by the coronavirus. Employers whose businesses have gone bankrupt. Employees and their families facing starvation, eviction and poverty. Lord, we need your care. We pray for those who make our laws and those who apply them. Police officers, all involved in the court system, the victims of discrimination and violence. Lord, we need your care. Lord Jesus, gather the flock for which you laid down your life. Bring home to their father's house all who have died in your peace. Lord, we need your care. Let us pray in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Yours is the day, and yours the night, Lord God. Let the sun of justice shine so steadily in our hearts, that we may come at length to that light where you dwell eternally. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike no care could destroy, be there at our waking, and give us, we pray, your bliss in our hearts, Lord, at the break of the day. Lord of all eagerness, Lord of all faith, whose strong hands were skilled at the plain and the lathe, be there at our labours, and give us, we pray, your strength in our hearts, Lord, at the noon of the day. Lord of all kindliness, Lord of all grace, your hands swift to welcome, your arms to embrace, be there at our homing, and give us, we pray, your love in our hearts, Lord, at the eve of the day. Lord of all gentleness, Lord of all calm, whose voice is contentment, whose presence is balm, be there at our sleeping, and give us, we pray, your peace in our hearts, Lord, at the end of the day. The Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Mother of Christ, hear thou thy people's cry star of the deep and portal of the sky, mother of him who thee from nothing made, sinking we strive and call to thee for aid. O oh, by that joy which Gabriel brought to thee, thou virgin first and last, let us thy mercy see. <laughs> 